Let us now solve an example regarding Carnot heat engines to better illustrate the importance of this concept. So in this example, we have an inventor claiming to have developed a power cycle capable of delivering a network output of 410 kilojoules. So this is our work out for an energy input by heat transfer of 1000 kilojoules. This is our QN. The system undergoing the cycle receives the heat transfer from hot gases at a temperature of 500 K, so this is our TH, and discharges energy by heat transfer to the atmosphere at 300 K, so this is our TL. And we are asked to evaluate this claim. So for this example, what do we have? We can sketch this here. So we have this inventor claiming that he or she has designed a heat engine this heat engine is delivering a certain work net which is equal to 410 kilojoules and the heat engine is receiving qn of 1000 kilojoules and the heat engine is running between two reservoirs of TH is equal 500 Kelvin and TL is equal 300 Kelvin. So basically the idea here is that we have an inventor, I'm an investor and, I have, and uh, this inventor came to see me telling me that he or she has developed a heat engine with work net of 410 kilojoules receiving QN of 1000 kilojoules and running between the two heat temperatures of 300 Kelvin and 500 Kelvin. And my role or my job is to evaluate this claim and to see if I have to put money on the table and invest in this project, okay? How do I proceed to know if this inventor or the claim of this inventor is true? So I know that this is a heat engine the first thing I will be doing is to ask myself, well, what's the maximal efficiency of a reversible heat engine, okay, running between the two temperature reservoirs? So we have TL is equal 300 Kelvin, TH is equal 500 Kelvin. If now I'm assuming that this is a Carnot heat engine, so for a heat Carnot heat engine, I'm expecting to get efficiency of a Carnot cycle running between the two temperature reservoirs, one minus TL over TH, this is equal to 1 minus, my TL is uh, 300 Kelvin, and my TH is 500 Kelvin, and this will give me an efficiency of 0.4 or 40% efficiency. This means that there is no way to design a heat engine that will have an efficiency higher than 40%, okay? Now let's evaluate the real efficiency claimed by this inventor, okay? Now for the actual heat engine, What do we have? We know that the thermal efficiency of any heat engine is the work net over our QN, right? Our work net is 410 kilojoules. 
and our QN is 1000 kilojoules. This gives us 0 0.41 or 41%. Well, there is a problem here. The problem is that the actual efficiency of our heat engine is higher than the efficiency of a Carnot cycle running between the two reservoir temperatures. So this means that the claim of the inventor is impossible. So basically, you are fake news. And this is for the moment impossible. And you don't invest in such a design or a project. So this is impossible. So meaning that you see that for any heat engine, refrigeration cycle, or a heat pump, we can always go through the same process and try to see if it's possible to design this or not. Just remember that this wasn't possible just using the first law of thermodynamics, right? The first law of thermodynamics didn't tell us what is possible and what is not possible. However, the second law of thermodynamics is already telling us that, well, this claim, this design actually is simply impossible, okay?